Hello, you yeah, are welcome back to the class. And uh, today is the thirteenth day of our hatchery. As you can see, uh, there has not been anything done. The only thing uh, I've been doing is I've just been feeding them, and the size will marvel you because uh, the workers are actually feeding them day and night because they actually stay in the farm. It should, it, if you are feeding them only during the day, they wouldn't be the size they are now. So uh, on this 13th day, from 11th to 13th day, they are supposed to mix uh, antibiotics. This is Pantex and it is called oxytetracycline hydrochloride. Or you can get remoseted, but I'm not gonna mix this to feed because I fed them the initial feed for seven days instead of five days. So instead of three to five days, so I fed them for complete seven days with the initial uh, medication we mixed from the one of their feeding. So the only thing we are I'm gonna show you now is maybe sometimes you have issues on the waste pipe and uh, uh, from this time on you may come to the farm and you see some foams on the water that's if you did not run flow through overnight you may come in the morning and uh, there are foams on the water so you shouldn't be afraid or shouldn't be scared when you see foam in the on the water what you just do is if you have uh, if you have vegetable oil or if you have palm oil you could just take a tip and and uh, spray on the water and you see the foam will disappear gradually or if you don't want to do that what you do is you start running flow through immediately so right now i just stopped the flow through because i have to show you something so let's see so you can see the outlet is still running out the outlet is still running out you can see and one thing i'm gonna show you again is outlet pipe inside now there are sometimes there are sometimes the water does not go out as it is supposed to go okay the water does not go out the water does not go out as it is supposed to to flow so what you do is what you do is you you place one hand on this on on the top of the pipe and you use one hand to clean the net use one hand to clean the net place your left hand on it and you use your right hand to clean the net now you can see there are accumulated debris on the water in sorry beneath the water you can see those dirts you can see them you can see those dirts you can see those dirts beneath the water so i actually do not do siphon i don't siphon the uh, my pond until after three weeks if you want to also siphon, you can actually do, but for me, I don't like siphoning as soon as possible. I'm going to show you how to siphon when it is time. So for me, I don't siphon until three weeks. So what I do is I run flow through continuously. I run flow through continuously. So you can see the fishes. 
can see them they are filled the water are filled everywhere you can see them now they have turned to advanced fries so that means I will start selling them in the next two to three weeks. So you can see the accumulated debris. You can siphon if you want to siphon, but I don't like siphoning. What I will do is I will keep running constant flow through. And because of the medication we gave them on time, they are not going to get sick so easily. So you can see them everywhere. So that is it for today, 13th day. And anytime we have something we're gonna do again, I'm gonna come back without counting days anymore. Because from now on, work starts. Work starts. So Whichever time work comes up, I'm going to come out. So the only thing we have been doing is uh, now, after five days, after seven days, what I did is I withdrew the medication I was given before. Uh, that's the feed that I mixed with medication. And I started giving them normal feed. That's the 0.3 mm without any mixture of medication. And if you look through this pond, if you look through this pond, you may be seeing some bigger ones that that are bigger than the others. Those ones are called the shootouts. That's the shootouts. Okay, so that is it. You can see that one there. Okay, you can see it. It's very big than other. You can see it moving inside the water. So you always target them and once it is two weeks plus and three weeks you start selecting them out you can see it swimming beneath it's swimming now so those are the shootouts those are the shootouts so that's it so thank you very much for to this class and we'll see you when next we're gonna see thank you thank you for choosing grand skills as your number one online free professional course creator for your notice i want you to know that the instructor of this course has put in so much effort time and money just to create this content for you to learn all for free. So please do well to click on the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification to all so you will be the first to get a video tutorials we'll be posting at all time. Also give it a thumbs up and drop a comment to help us improve more. Thank you.